from Canuckify and just want to shoot this quick uh, onboarding tutorial video just to get you up and running um, and make sure everything runs smoothly for you. Right, let's get into this. So hopefully by now you've installed Canuckify and it's showing up in your uh, apps section in Shopify. So the first thing you want to do is click on that and that will take you to the back end of Canuckify. Then the main thing you need to do is put your email for Kanaki and your Kanaki password into there. Now this is just a shortcut button that will take you to Kanaki just so you can double check, uh, type your details, log in, make sure they're correct first before entering them into uh, Kanakify. That just makes the connection uh, seamless. So that's the first thing which is super important that you need to do. Now the next thing is set up a product. So if I go into products and I'll add a new product just for now. Obviously you enter your title, description, images. Now this is the next important bit, the SKU. Now what you want to do is you want to go into Kanaki, log in, you've got some products added, grab one of your product IDs um, for the product that you want to set up. So I will copy this product ID from Kanaki, go back into Shopify and then paste it into here. So this is the most important bit. This is what sort of links the two. Um, you need your Kanaki product ID pasted into the SKU stock keeping unit of your uh, Shopify listing. So as soon as you pasted that in, the next thing that's super important, this needs to be checked, shipping. This product requires shipping, okay? If you don't check that, then the actual order will not go through uh, to Kanaki at all. So make sure that's checked and make sure that's saved there. So I'll just cancel out this because I've obviously already got a product set up. Um, so once you've done those, the next thing you probably wanna do is do a test order. All right, so you can then make sure that everything's working all right. Now I suggest for your test order, uh, don't have any um, money funded into your Kanaki account because obviously as soon as you send the test order through, Kanaki will start printing it. So um, obviously if you don't mind, then that, that's fine. Um, but I'll just, just show you how to do a test order just in case you don't know. So again, make sure you've got your uh, Kanaki ID there and checked this product requires shipping. Um, then we're going to go and do a test order. So I'll create an order here. Just bring up my products. I'll add a customer, me. Save as draft order. I'm just going to mark that as paid. Okay, so that's now hopefully sent the order to Kanakify. So this is kind of mimicking what would happen when a sale comes in from your Shopify store, right? And so if I go to apps and I'll go into Kanakify, so we can see that new order show up here. Now obviously if you've not had any orders, all this will be blank until you actually get an order come through. Now the good thing about this back end is you can actually check on the status without having to log into Kanaki. Um, it pulls all the information from Kanaki, so obviously they take what, about a day or so to print and ship, but as soon as they do print it and ship it, uh, you'll get an update here for your order status. So it'll actually say something like shipped here and you'll get a tracking number as well, which is cool. So you can then copy the tracking number, click through to then track where it is. Um, now a note on fulfillment, we've just added a new feature actually, um, so this text I'll be updating soon, but basically um, as soon as Kanaki fulfill your order, um, it will actually mark as fulfilled in Shopify, which is pretty cool. Before you had to kind of do it manually, um, but now it's all hands off. So I guess the main thing, um, once you've got everything set up, um, 
you know, it's probably worth just going into, logging into your Kanaki, click list view and fund all pending XML uh, orders. If you click on this button, and just to make sure that your test order has gone through, which mine has. Now, because my Kanaki account isn't funded, this won't go anywhere. So it's just test order anyway, so it doesn't matter. I'll just cancel it. But to make this um, whole process automatic, you want to fund your Kanaki account and then all orders coming in from Shopify will go through Kanakify, be sent to Kanaki and then Kanaki will print and ship and it will be all automatic. Um, so yeah, that's kind of like the main overview. Um, just check my notes, just make sure I've got everything. Um, yeah, so I think that's covered everything. Um, if you do have any questions, um, that we've setting up a Facebook uh, group um, for Kanakify, so feel free to come and find us and we'll add you to the group and we can discuss um, anything that you need to. If you need any help or anything, I'll be there. And uh, yeah, I'll speak to you soon. Cheers.